couldn't believe his eyes. It was red hot uh, behind his back. Percy decided to make a run for it. to catch up. Percy was in here was just being a bit slow to catch up. Percy saw the mine. He's a bit a favourite spot he likes hearing. Percy hid in the mine for some time. Then at last, things have gone quiet. He was thinking that he'd lost his enemy for sure. And he wasn't behind his back or in front of him at all. Not being a bit close, but far away behind. Ugh. It was some freaky day of my life. I mean, this is the worst freaking day of my life. He thought to himself. Then suddenly, he had a voice. Hello? Said the voice. Percy looked around, but there was nothing but darkness. Hmm, he must be imagining things, he thought to himself, but he was imagining things. He heard the voice, and it said, yes. Percy felt a skirt and a little bit of a shaker. That sounds like an engine, he thought. The hiss came again. Who's that? said Percy. This time it sounded despairing. Who's that? he asked. Then a whisper came. Are you a Fed controller's engine? Let's move to Australia. Yes, I am, said Percy, looking a bit proud, and I'm proud of it. Thank goodness, I'm dark. I'm a blue diesel engine. I was likely on the run from the other railway of London, England. We're escaping to Australia because it would be perfect for me to sit for him. <coughs> I thought Australia could be safe, but I don't know if there'd be some other strange things. 
which don't look very bad and don't look very good, I mean. Is it from scrap your Skyping? asked Percy. Yes, it is, said Dark. Feeling a bit nervous to answer Percy's question. Then I'll be there to help you, said Percy, pushing down the branches. And th he thought of a way to get him working. He looked in his cab. It was all in condition, good condition. And Kersvig, who was not created yet, decided to drive him. He came out of his funnel and went inside the cab. And he got his engine working it was looking a bit good, the engine, not looking a bit bad. Now then, it's time for me to block this door, said Percy. I hope you'll know, said Doug. And together, they both blocked the door. Being a bit fast and a bit quietly, I did. As they blocked the door, Percy and Dark began to work together on escaping. As they did, they checked to see if the curse was clear. But everything seemed a bit quiet. So they quietly escaped. Meanwhile, Red Hot Co. violently blasted through the mine to look for Percy, but he wasn't inside. And his prisoner was not inside either. So now, he was feeling a bit bad tempered and his temperature temper was looked like evil stuff and it was beginning to look a bit evil too and good tempers don't um, get rid of bad tempers from them like that because they're not and being a bit strong enough, they're a bit weak. <laughs> 